Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from geekazine.com and howtorecordpodcast.com and I'm going to show you a new version of Voice Meter called Voice Meter Banana and it's uh I don't know if this, this is in beta or whatnot. Uh, I just found the download uh it uh, heard about the download so I downloaded and installed. It's a lot different than Voice Meter. Now, Voice Meter is a Windows-based audio software which you can connect up and use for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Let's say you had an interview on Skype and you wanted to uh, mix it down so you, you can put it into a podcast. So you could record, uh, or you, could record you playing some music maybe. I don't, I don't know, some, some different things. Um, voice meter, uh, of course, the other version of voice meter, the older version of voice meter, let's pull up the page here. As you can see, the older version of voice meter had two tracks. It had the virtual input and then the hardware out. No record features functionality at all. This is over at Voice Meter with two E's, Voice M E E T E R dot com. And uh, you can get this, you can download it. The, I don't think the banana version is out on the main page yet, but I would guess in a day or two, you could probably uh, check it out and, uh, and go from there. Um, and it'll be on the page here. So, so basically, this is, this is what Voice Meter used to look like. And as you can see, you can uh, you have your headset, your whatever you record with your microphone, uh, hardware player come in on on channel two, uh, player application uh, for music or something like that, and then of course monitoring up from there. Well, now we've got three channels, and that makes a big difference because now you could record two Skypes, you could record a Google Voice and a Skype, you could record a Google Voice, a Google Hangout, and a Google, uh, Skype. You can use the Google Hangout just as a one-on-one, -on -one, just as, as your next, uh, your other your other person that, that needs to come in. And the cool thing is uh, it, with Mix Minus, you can actually bring in yourself and uh, and two other people, and then they don't get that echo back. And, we're, and we'll talk about that as we go from here. First of all, I'm just going to uh, take out everything here, all these uh, all these buttons. So we're, we're at a neutral point here. So... So basically, this is the interface, the new version of the interface. And as you can see, we have three hardware inputs. We have two virtual inputs, and then we have a record area, and then a whole master section. This is this is pretty sweet. So now I could have myself here on hardware input one. I could have Skype one on hardware input two. I could have Skype two on hardware input three, or I could have Google Voice on hardware input two. I could have uh, Skype on hardware input three, or I could have Google Hangout on input two, and uh, and Skype on on input three. The the everything it's it's the possibilities are a lot cooler um, to do as, as long as you have uh, software or hardware cards, and you can you can do it. like for instance, I use these Behringer. Uh, these are the Behringer audio interface cards, as you can see, RCA inputs. I can monitor it and uh, go from there. Bring in. Uh, two people. I have two of these plus I have two internal sound cards, so I can bring in three different sessions, maybe one, uh, two Skype sessions and one Google uh, Hangout or Google Voice session, and have them all come in. I won't be able to mix them all here. To, well, I, I actually now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I couldn't mix it all here. I would have to use the uh, virtual inputs instead of putting music in, which is mostly what this is. Now, it's got two virtual inputs, but and uh, they're B1 and B2, but they're both for uh, different types of uh, composites, and that, that's where they're set right there as composite. Um, you can always uh, change the master selection, and well, my face is in the way on that, so we'll get rid of that. Um, that's all done over on the master section right here where I'm moving this slider right here. So... And then, of course, you have the main uh, main area. You have hardware input one, which is right now my main sound card. So you're seeing my levels go up and down as we go. And, of course, that can be changed through here. Now, you're only going to see my input because I don't have any of the sound cards set up uh, plugged in right now. So I've got the main line in from my uh, Sound Blaster card, and that's what's coming in here. And, of course, you, you can change that all through here. There is a voice meter auxiliary output and input uh, that you can that you get when you, you when you install the software. So uh, you um, want to play with those a little bit uh, to see what your best what works best for you. So 
Um, right here in the Atelipan, this is where you can change the sound if you want a more tinier sound, if you want a more bassier sound. It's not, it's not changing it for me since I'm using a, uh, a different program to manage the sound. But if I went here, I, I'd have a much deeper voice. And if I went here, I'd have a much tinier voice and, and go from there. Add more FX uh, echo and stuff like that uh, and go from there. Now, these buttons, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, this is what comes back to me. So if I press A1, I hear myself, and, and you don't hear an echo, but I do hear an echo because, of course, I'm talking and I'm hearing myself. And it's a little bit of latency, but not enough to make it annoying. You know, if you've ever heard some latency uh, where it's 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 so far apart that you, you feel like you're slowing down talking. This one's just like, just a slight bounce back. So you can kind of hear yourself and uh and continue uh, it doesn't it doesn't bother me at least so so anyway i have this but right now n neither hardware input 2 or hardware input 3 is hearing me at all because of the fact that i have all their buttons turned off so if i want them let's say i want them to hear me so i press on a1 all three of these and all three of these are now hearing me uh, that will go through their their respected sound cards. And we can adjust the sound cards, which uh, whoever's, uh, let's say we have, uh, I'm on the main sound card, so A1, I would have to, I would choose my sound blaster. A2, I would choose my secondary sound card. And then, of course, A3, when I plug in like the Behringer or another USB uh, audio card, that will show up in here and I'll be able to uh, to make those changes. Um, if you ever want to see where your stuff is, you go up to the menu and we go to the system settings options and you, you can see where everything's plugged in. You can also uh, do things such as uh, create buffers, uh, increase your buffer, uh, do your synchronization of your output delay. So I can do 50 milliseconds and you have, of course, now I have a little bit more of a bounce. We try and do zero um, for the best possible, of course. Um, and then all of these other things. If you don't know how what what these are, you don't really need to touch them, um, and uh, it'll record from there. So here we are in Voice Meter, and I'll bring myself back up here. So we've got some really cool stuff here. We can adjust our the way we sound here from a low low bass, and you might hear that a little bit since I've got the uh, I got the audio going through my my speakers as well to a high sound. So you can definitely change some sound to there we have the audibility um which helps with uh with uh, clarification and uh getting things uh, just dialed in a little bit more play with it and see how it how it makes a difference in your sound and uh and go from there same thing with ha hardware input too let's say I, I this is my skype channel i would come in here i'd choose the input and then what i would do is I would have A1 because I want them to hear me, but I don't want them to hear them because they'll get an echo slap back like I'm kind of getting right now. So I would avoid uh, pressing A2, and then they don't hear themselves, but they'll hear me. Now let's say I put in hardware input 3, and I want input 3 to hear 2. So what I would do is I in on channel 2 is I would uh, select A3. So now on channel 2, they hear me and the third person and the third person we would select a2 so now they hear me and the second person and of course we can make all the adjustments from here and uh if they're too too soft too loud uh and go from there we can also choose uh, mono as opposed to stereo we can solo it out and this is perfect so let's say Let's say uh, there's some background noise off of channel two and channel three, and you want to do your intro, and uh, you don't want to keep, you don't want to have these active just in case there's some, there's some noise. So you hit the solo button, and that should uh, that should make your channel the dominant channel, and these two uh, pretty mute. But you can also mute them, so they're not, uh, you they can't hear each other or they can't speak, and uh, and go into the recording at all. So you can uh, then you unmute them. As I can mute myself right now and unmute myself, and of course I can also do it with the virtual channels as well. So I and that's what B one B two is by the way, is it's virtual. It, I, I'm I'm not sure why they didn't call it V one V two, 
but they called it B1, B2. So if I want if I want these guys to hear B1, which is maybe the audio track, I have the audio track loaded up here. I can hit that and I can say, this is the intro, and you might be hearing a little bit of the music in the background. This is the intro. How's it going? Let's let's get started on here. And then uh, and then I bring up the intro and and then I can uh, bring it down and go from there. So then I have myself and and if i, I want to hear all three of them so i'm going to choose a1 a2 a3 so when uh let's say this is uh this is bob and this is doug when bob talks i can hear bob bob can't hear himself and doug can hear bob when doug talks i can hear doug i uh bob can hear doug but doug can't hear doug and of course if there's music playing all three of us hear the music play and uh and go from there now we have the master selection. This is where you, once again, you would uh, you do some more adjustments if you need to, to get them just that right sound from there. You can choose what you want the master selection to be. You can do it as whoops, it's in, I'm in the way. Let's get out of the way. <laughs> you can uh, you can make the adjustments as you can see. Um, you can uh, choose the EQ, the equalizer up here. Um, you can choose normal mode, mix down from A. Mix down from B. Uh, so I'd have, let's say I'd have B2 set up where it collects everything from A1, A2, and A3. And then I can, uh, I can kind of put a little bit of a, of a master level to it. And I can also say, okay, let's mix down there. We're going to choose EQ. So I want a little bit more mid off of the overall and maybe a touch more bass off the overall. And then that would come through here. And then it's ready. Uh, I can use this as just a master level here. Now, the n other new feature on this is the record option. And this is really cool. You can choose to record everything, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, or just select stuff. Like, for instance, I'm talking about using this as a master channel, bringing A1, A2, A3 in here. So I might just want to uncheck all of these and use B2 for the recording because everything is filtering in, oops, including B1, everything filters in to this channel and that's what records. Or I just, uh, I, I turn off this channel. I just want to use these three. So I'm just gonna, there's the main music and there's me and the other two people. And uh, we're having, a, we're, we're talking and I can mute them, I can unmute them, I can change their volumes from here. You, you could basically turn this channel down and, and it wouldn't make much of a difference. But then, uh, but then you can also, if you do have this channel set up, you can then do a 5.1 surround type sound and go from there um, and, uh, and, and get the best sound that you're, you're looking for right here. Um, audio out, you can also adjust that. Uh, A1 goes to my sound blaster. A2 goes to my secondary sound card. And if I had the USB plugged in, you'd probably, uh, that would be in this list as well and go from there. So I can actually set up, and, and the specs on this uh, are not, you know, it doesn't take a, a powerful computer to do this. So you could take an older machine, an older laptop, and uh, make sure nothing else is running in the background, and you load up voice meter, and that becomes your main new mixing board for a uh, two-Skype system. You know, like I said, you get a few sound cards, such as this Behringer right here, and uh, and you plug them in, you and you hook up the wires, and then you can do a two-person or I'm sorry, three-person Skype, uh, three-person Skype with you, or if uh, let's say you're bringing in another person, let's say you are doing one, uh, one Skype, one Google Voice, and one Google Hangout, or two Skypes and a Google Voice, and you're just kind of being the moderator, uh, make just doing the recording. You can bring all three voices and go from there. You could, let's say, let's say I'm a musician and I'm here and I'm, yeah, I could be in hardware input one for my microphone, hardware input, input two could be my guitar or whatever instrument I'm, I'm using. And then hardware input three might be the other person that's on the Skype line that's listening to the music going, hey, that's, that's pretty good. Or I'd change this or I do this or, or whatnot and go from there. So you have a lot of different options. You could also, if you have two people here, one person, uh, one person gone, uh, they, they call in uh, on, on the show or whatnot. So you have different options. And then, of course, the, the uh, virtual one, which we, you bring in music, 
uh, you bring in your soundboard or anything like that, or you can set it up so yeah, I could actually become a fourth fourth person uh, using a different uh, different source uh, in the composite, or you can use it for a mix down of A or a mix down of B and go from there. So lots of different options, really cool stuff. This is Voice Meter Banana. Really excited about this. I I, I like the idea. I'm I'm always been a fan of mixers. I have my mixer set up here. I'm probably not going to go away from hardware mixers, but a good software mixer to just bring a laptop and a couple of these these audio cards and uh, be able to take two laptops to a different location and set it up and use this software to uh, mix the audio on one computer and bring it into the uh, into the main computer where I bring in video or something like that. It's it it definitely can add a lot of cool different options that you haven't had before. Or you could actually set this all up on one computer and then have the audio come in and out and in and out and in and out. As long as you have enough USB buses, as long as you have enough, uh, enough resources in the computer, you should be able to uh, go back and forth and, uh, and, and record pretty much anything with up to up to three hardware inputs. So that could be three microphones right there um, if you're doing something live. Uh, some virtual stuff if, uh, if, if they need to play music uh, or something like that. And then you can record it all from there. This is Voice Meter Banana. And like I said, it's not on the page yet. So it's a version 2.0.0. And it's donationware. So if you really like it, donate some cash to them. And uh, so they can keep this software running. Cause this is awesome software. I can't believe that uh, that they, that this is something that you can actually download for free and give them whatever you can afford to give them and go from there. So, all right, well, that's it. Uh, I, I hope you uh, check it out, download. All you have to do is go to voicemeter.com. That's voice meter with two E's and uh, check it out. Voice meter banana probably will be up the 2.0.0. Uh, will be up uh, probably shortly here. Right now, they have their current version up on the website, and uh, and uh, download it and play with it and see what you think. Let me know. Uh, Twitter me over at Geekazine. Think Magazine. Put in a geek uh, or Geekazine at gmail dot com. All right. Well, that does it for this uh, this video here. You can check out all my videos over at YouTube dot com forward slash Geekazine. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I hope you're as excited as me for some of the software audio uh, programs that you can use to create a podcast, to create your, to put music onto the uh, web, to do whatever you need to do to mix down and make things sound perfect. So thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out, and we'll see you next time. Take care.